Hi, this is Numeric Citizen. In today's video, I want to show you how you can work with Zavala, an outliner, for use in Craft and also improving some portion of your document formatting and adding navigation aid in complex documents. Let's get started. In a previous video, I showed you how you can use Craft to create outlines. Uh, outlines can be used uh, when you are uh, building or writing a, a complex document or you are working on a complex project and you want to put your ideas uh, on, 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 uh, in a document and then that you can later rearrange and expand uh, in, individually. And I, I use outlines quite often uh, during my, uh, when I'm working, when I'm producing new videos. Um, and um, I used to do that in craft, but uh, recently I came up, I came across a, a new software. I, I think it's not new, but I came across a, a software, an application called Zavala. Zavala is available on the Mac, on the iPad and the iPhone. And it's a free software and uh, it's, uh, it's still being updated, uh, not quite often, but it still gets, uh, uh, it still receive updates. And when I'm using Zavala, I'm kind of focused in a very uh, simple writing environment. And this is uh, one of the reasons uh, why I decided to switch to this software when I'm writing outlines and in general. And what you are seeing now on the screen is Zavala with the uh, show uh, or the, this video script or structure uh, that I'm going to use to actually um, um, talk uh, for this uh, video. So the cool thing about Zavala is that you can easily insert uh, craft deep links within the Zavala. And Zavala supports a similar thing where you can copy a document link and paste it into craft so you can switch back and forth between both of your application when you are uh, working on a, a document. I'll show that in a, uh, a, as an example uh, later. So as you can see here, it's a pretty simple uh, outline uh, that I created for this specific um, video. And um, I know that it's not uh, everyone will write an outline before starting writing a, 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 an article or a document. But for those who do, um, I think Zavala is a good, uh, a good, is a good um, application to do that. So it's free, uh, available on the Mac, again, on the iPad and the iPhone. It syncs all the documents across your device using iCloud Sync. And I'll show, uh, I'll give the uh, link to the download of this or the application website so, so you can get more information about that. So a quick tour of the uh, uh, application. As I, get, as I said, if I go in the edit menu, I can copy a link to this document, which will open the application with the document open when I click on this link uh, wherever I, I will paste it. So I'll show that again in a few minutes. And also, uh, it's pretty simple uh, to export your content as a PDF file and as a markdown file. And this is the main reason why I'm even considering using Zevala for that specific use case, because I can re-import the markdown file within the craft document so I have everything in one place. So this is really a nice uh, outliner. Um, as you can see, uh, you can expand all the section as I wish. And what I'll do is I'll show you that uh, I created a I, I, I created a link hyperlink here. If I click on it, it will open Craft to the uh, document where I'm planning to save this outline. So again, this is the document link that I talked about a few moments ago. So if I click on that, I'll go back to the uh, document. So this is the same document open twice. I think it's a little bug within, within the app, but it's not a deal breaker. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to export this file as a markdown file. I already done that here. So I'll do that again so you can see 
what's the process export as a markdown document so i can leave it as this replace so now the file is generated and i'll switch back to craft hitting this link and as you can see here there is a block which is a page where i'll insert the uh, video script so i click on that i can delete this line and then i'll drag this file way over there and the trick is is to use the as block option not the as file so the outline gets imported as is and is beautifully uh, formatted and you'll notice that there is this link here which uh, craft recognized so you can switch to this and go back up one level so the way it's um, um, this uh, helps me is the fact that i can have the finished um, outline for this document uh, from zavala inserted into my container document in craft and everything is in one place and it's it's pretty cool and then again if i want here i can just click on that make sure that i have a uh, this is a page so i can have a, have a little thumbnail uh, to show me that this is a, a page i could use a card but i'll leave it like this so it's pretty simple if i go back to zavala i'll show you how you can actually create a new document I'll go back in Zavala here, new outline. When you create a new outline, you give it a title. And also you can add tags, as many tags as you want. So you can add a list of document that are related to a specific tag if you want. So this is very useful. The more you add outlines within your library, the more you'll be able to use tags to locate those documents. So it's pretty nice to have within the uh, Zavala environment. I don't know if I can show you the uh, the new main window. So as you can see here, I have a few documents already created. I created a, um, an, a, a an outline for the Anybox. Um, recently, the previous uh, video I, sh I, I published, and this is a pretty simple environment. So this is a document that I have created just a few seconds back. Same thing here, I can delete. And also I even created a outline for my review of any box, as you can see, which helped me write the structure of a document that I published recently. So that's it for the Zavala use uh, in conjunction with Craft. So I think both forms a, a, a great combo uh, of application. Uh, so you can use uh, this setup to write beautiful outlines that you can import into your craft document. Now here is a suggestion if you want to add navigation aid within your complex document. A navigation aid is a hyperlink that you use, that you create within a craft document that will bring you to the specific section of a document. So I have an example here on the screen. Uh, this is the uh, my creator uh, toolset that I'm sharing online that you probably already know about. And as this document is pretty uh, long in uh, in nature and there's many sections within this document, it's a good idea to create uh, a kind of a table of content at the beginning of a such a complex document. So this is what I created here. This is a collapsible table of content so it makes things easier on the eye so if you want to expand that and the visitor will be able to expand that also you just copy a deep link to a specific block within your document and then you paste that within uh, a specific uh, block text of block block, uh, block of text so if i want to um, bring people to this specific place here right click on that i can copy deep link to this block and then if i want i can just enter a new line i should like a bullet like that and this is a link and i'll be able to paste that and when i over my mouse over this specific link it will bring me to the exact place within this document so if i click on that it will scroll the, scroll the document to the exact place the only issue I have with this is the fact that, as you can see here, instead of scrolling the document 
like in the middle of the of the window it stays at the bottom and this is something that uh, i find a bit um, irritating and i think i already submitted a feedback on slack about this issue so i'd like craft to move this portion in the middle so i can have a better overview of where i am now in this document so when you are using navigation aids uh, you can use the back and the forward slash here so let's say I go back here, I click on the link. It will bring me to the, it should bring me to the place. And then if I click on the back, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I think it's a, I think it's a, it's a, it's an issue with, with this. It should bring me to the right place. Uh, so this is something to improve guys at the craft team on the craft team. So this is one example of a navigation aid. The other thing is I put that the same thing in the uh, my digital garden. Uh, you can uh, go directly to a specific section like the Apple Rumors Hub. And if I click on that, boom, I am at the right place. Here I can go back to this and uh, it works beautifully. I can also go to the garden layout. So you'll see the structure of this uh, complex document. And again, I'll be able to click the uh, back button to, oh, you see, there's an issue there. It's not working as expected. Again, guys, this is a bug. So that's for the navigation aid. I think I put that too in some of my, uh, the document I published last year about a photo diary with uh, I, that I built in my, uh, during my uh, visit to Italy, Italy. So if I go to the here and I click on a specific date, double click on that, you'll see that I can uh, go back to the next day here just by clicking on this hyperlink, which is actually a deep link uh, pointing to the next uh, page or the next section of this document. So that's for the navigation aid in your complex craft documents. The other trick I wanted to share with you today is uh, related to the way you are formatting a page within a uh, craft document. So you have this document here on the screen, and as you can see, it's pretty drab as uh, display. It's pretty simple uh, layout. But if you look at this document, there is this block here that is actually a page. And this is the way it is shown on the uh, at the document level. So if I double click on this page, Craft will bring me to the actual uh, page content. I can go back here using the back button. And again, the first line here that you see is the start of the first paragraph in the, the page. So this the, those pages are created using the add content option here. And then again, it will bring to the to the uh, page content. The problem I see here is the fact that this page uh, is, it's not clear visually that this is a page. So my suggestion here is to simply format this block as a, a page. And then what you'll get here is a little uh, thumbnail of your page content. So it's easier to uh, locate uh, that the fact that this is a page in your document. So if I do the same thing here for this block that will become a link to a page, I'll just create this block, add some text. I can even uh, select a cover image from Unsplash and you'll see how it becomes, um, I'll put a, this one here. If I go back here, now you can see that there is a thumbnail because uh, there is an image, but otherwise it would have been a simple uh, plain uh, text block pointing to a page. So I think it's uh, preferable to use this in your documents because it make, makes things easier to, to, to see. So that's the second trick I wanted to share with you today. So that's it for today's video. I hope you like it. I hope you learn a few things along the way. I hope you will uh, have a look at the Zavala for creating outlines. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for being there. If you like this video, just hit like. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thanks again for being there. Thanks and see you guys for another one. Bye. Peace.